Hey, welcome to the next channel. Quite a while ago, I shot uh, a video episode on uh, uh, titled "Why I Don't Work in uh, Device Drivers and Stuff." Uh, like I mentioned in the video, I don't generally like uh, you know working on hardware uh, drivers because most of the times uh, hardware is something uh, uh, you know which is uh, defined by some you know external entity okay once the hardware is all uh, you know done and it is uh, built and uh, which is where actually the creativity goes and after that uh, you get that software layer and when you work on the software layer there is nothing to invent so which is why i mentioned uh, usually such mundane uh, uh stuff uh, gets outsourced and mostly we get uh, such projects in india and you will find uh, many job openings where device drivers and stuff but again you know uh, there is not much of fun uh, involved when it comes to a situation like device drivers because um, all you need to do is to provide the software layer support for that you know hardware so you know the creativity goes in for hardware manufacturing and not much with respect to the software but uh, at the same time in the video i have also mentioned i am very keen and interested and often i do work case on uh, software drivers uh, uh, virtual drivers and uh, stuff like that because this is where the creativity lies and uh, in the software layer you can expose uh, any instance or something like a you know virtual driver or uh, it looks on par with any you know devices so it mimics you know like a hardware device but it is not a hardware true hardware device because uh, let it be hardware devices or software devices all you need to do is create a kernel data structure instance in the case of uh, networking you get a uh, instance uh, with net device and uh, stuff like that whereas in the case of storage like you get uh, stb uh, sda and stb and uh, stuff like that with the hard drives and ssds so again you create another uh, you know data structure instance so that way i was working on to something again i'm uh, quickly want to mention this is not a video where i'm going to explain about how you can create the stuff and all this is something i'm kind of working internally uh, i don't know what to name it and i just named ferno as toffee but it is nothing to do with toffee either so uh, you can see here i'm uh, fixing some issues and i just uh, compiled my you know driver source uh, you can see here kernel module uh, i can do one thing this i can uh, push uh, within the kernel source itself i can package this module in the kernel source itself okay which contains uh, you know dot c file and make uh, you know and uh, stuff of course i can push into the drivers uh, directory uh, within some kind of a custom release or i can just leave it like a kernel module so this is what so i'm kind of working the main objective is uh, to try this and uh, something like raspberry pi uh, it is not even meant for this device so here is my you know pi booted so uh, before i put inside the pi i can just do a quick uh, this thing i can do a quick ssh to the pi and i can show you uh once i go inside you can see here i just copied it somewhere here okay so uh, you can uh, see if i do a make or something it is going to show this error because it doesn't have that uh, kernel uh, you know build uh, stuff so you can see the error is quite evident so if you go inside this folder okay inside this folder which is the booted kernel okay it doesn't have that you know build directory and uh, routine so, so it is not going to work so i need to install that uh, stuff so that we can start working on uh, kernel modules so uh, i mean building kernel modules or drivers on raspberry pi so i'm yet to do that it's just uh, like i shot this recent video i just got it quite recent so it's just a couple of days back or just one day before so i am yet to do that but uh, this is something exciting i was working and uh, you can see once it is uh, ins modded i got this uh, custom uh, interface up so this is something i got it uh, through this uh, driver and provided it doesn't have any bugs i should able to do a proper uh, you know sudo rm mod i mean uh, graceful exit as well okay so toffee int and if i do that it should vanish okay over here 
okay looks like uh, there's a crash so that's what i was just uh, still working on the same i think there is a system crash i'm just working on the same so this is what i would like to mention uh, that i am more interested in uh, working in uh, software driver so uh, this thing is not a turn tap interface okay this is a very custom uh, network interface so let me go inside and I'm not sure about the video capture if it is uh, failing uh, I mean to save that file or if the file is corrupted then I need to attach something okay so let us see I mean I just thought uh, let me just quickly record my workflow so that <laughs> you know you'll get an idea that uh, you know these things do happen this way okay so like i said before i put on the pie i just want to do that uh, driver and uh, i can do you know many iterations and i can test uh, the current uh, kernel uh, it is uh, booted on uh, that ubuntu kernel is a uh, 5.0 kernel so if there are any data structures which are kernel version dependent it may work over there but may not work in uh, pi because uh, hope you must have seen it is 4 dot uh, something 4 dot 6 or something okay so this kernel is different you know versus uh, the ubuntu kernel okay so let it boot and uh, i can just do a quick demo and this time what i do is uh, before i do ins mod i can do an if config and then uh, you know i can do the ins mod and you can see that if config minus a it is going to show that all interfaces so the interface i have not yet uh, supported about uh, you know the routines like or callback apis like when it comes up what to do and stuff so which is why i'm saying it's just uh you know this is some kind of a workflow i thought uh, let me share uh, because i too got uh, some few weird uh, you know comments on that uh, video saying that uh, there is a learning curve one have to work and stuff like that i mean i'm not denying that uh, you can work on device drivers but uh, beyond that there is no fun about it okay when you work on a physical device drivers because all you are doing is you know providing a software layer for some you know physical hardware and uh, the creativity goes in in terms of making the physical hardware uh, there is no creativity in terms of writing any software layer of course you can write something quite optimized and stuff but you know there is nothing more beyond that okay so uh, we wait for a couple of uh, seconds uh, so anyway since it is booted i don't want to stop this uh, you know camera feed so that you can have a live you know peak of the same okay so yeah so we go once again uh, to the terminal and uh, what i do is i can do this if config minus a and you can see it has these interfaces it doesn't have the toffee interface so i can uh, go inside another tab cd code toffee and i can do sudo ins mod and uh, toffee.kvo and before doing that i can also open another terminal and i can do tail minus f where log you know kernel log so you can see uh, i mean i'm not anyway printing any log messages so i just kept it on because if there is any errors i can catch okay so you can see there and uh, i give the password and uh, yeah uh, there are no log messages i am printing so i just thought if it produces anything i can catch over there yeah uh, i think i forgot to record anyway good that i remembered before doing that yes so you can see here if config minus a there is no toffee interface and after that i have done this uh, you know uh, ins mod and uh, there are no log messages over here okay so that's what it is and uh, we can do after that ins mod is over we can do if config minus a and this time it should uh, come up okay you can see here it has come up and uh, you can see it has a weird uh, mtu value which is uh, <laughs> you know somewhat similar to localhost and uh, stuff like that this is not like a you know physical uh, interface stuff okay so this physical interface has uh, jumbo frames enabled so it has an mtu of uh, 9000 uh, bytes versus uh, this is a local host so it has that maximum mtu of 2 bytes all ffs so it is going to be 65535 and uh, 0 to 65535 and so it is 65536 
so even my interface i am creating much like a loopback so it is having this value of course I, as i said uh, this is still work in progress and moreover the intent is to experiment on uh, pi and uh, vms and uh, stuff so that's what so that is what it is so this is a kind of still like a driver uh, development uh, but this is something it excites me uh, because uh, you can do so many things in this type of you know drivers although we call it as a driver this is not any you know physical device drivers okay this is not to be confused with standard device drivers because device drivers is the software layer of the hardware so if you have a webcam you need a device driver to use that webcam you need you need some kind of usb device you need a device driver support to support that usb hardware so that is a proper device drivers which are meant for physical devices you provide the software layer to access that physical devices versus here in this case it is uh, just a dummy driver uh, which mimics a hardware interface or port whatever it is in this case it's a network interface but it can be anything it can be even a storage device it can be a ram drive or anything so in that case it's just a dummy you know device driver it is not any you know physical device driver but uh, you can mimic this and you can make it work like a soft you know hardware device via the software and this is where you can push a lot of creativity and technology inside uh, which you cannot do with any hardware device driver because if the moment you think about any hardware devices like this or like this uh, this one is a old dealing uh, wi-fi nicard uh, through usb so uh, all these things all it does is uh, you know some read write operation in this so again in this also read write operation you don't have any creativity or scope inside a device driver when you do for this okay the entire challenging aspect is the hardware okay the first challenging aspect is the hardware and the creativity goes in making the hardware and the drivers are concerned it's just you know you need to provide the relevant support it has so and so buffers and stuff like that you need to write accordingly in the device driver uh, but more than that nothing happens in the device driver so all you need to do is init or open and close uninit okay so these two apis and then read write api so that's all this device driver so this is nothing more to it okay whereas in the case of software drivers uh, i can provide many things i can uh, provide a dummy interface it can do encryption i can provide a dummy interface whenever it gets a packet it can do compression it, it just it can do anything or else i can create a uh, sort of a ram drive the moment you save a file it encrypts the file it compresses the file and stuff like that so uh, things like this is possible i'm not saying the file system level i'm saying even uh, the device level whenever you write any data read any data it can do on the fly uh, you know these operations so all those possibilities are you know possible with you know something like software drivers and you can do several creative stuff and magic with you know software drivers versus you are limited in terms of a choice when it comes to this type of you know hardware device drivers okay